Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about bone set. This is Eupatorium pifoliatum. Uh, it is a wonderful plant to have around. Uh, a lot of plants that I've got into medicinal plants, I'm gonna pull some of this out. This piece of wild lettuce growing up out in the middle of it. I didn't want you to be mistaken of what part was of the plant and what wouldn't. This is some golden, nice wild lettuce too. Um, and the bugs are starting, you see grasshoppers hopping off of it. Bugs are starting to eat on this this late in the year. So if you harvest it, be careful. Make sure you kind of clean it. But uh, this is a good plant to have. Um, it don't have a wide range of uses, but it does have a couple of uses. Uh, they did mix it together and drink it. And uh, sometimes help with upset stomachs and things in mild doses. The main thing of this plant is fever. They said that this broke fever to the bone. Um, also used to help heal bones. So there's a little bit of discrepancy about what the plant actually does and how it got its name bone set. Some say it's because the Native Americans used it with broken bones. Once they would reset them bones, they would give a person this every day for a while and it would help those bones grow back faster. Uh, and it has been reported that that's actually a fact. The next thing is, is the fever. It's one thing to read about a plant like this in a book and, and, uh, and say, okay, well, it does this, this, and this. I want to tell you a little bit about this plant. Last year, my father got very sick. Uh, he had been sick for a couple of days running fever. We thought maybe he had the COVID or didn't know sure what it was and all. Uh, didn't really at first think it was that bad. He said he'd been running fever and felt good, but I had seen him out and about and talked to him. Well, I asked him one afternoon, the second day, I was like, well, how you doing? You feeling okay? Yeah, I think I'm going to be all right. And then that night, he got worse. So the next morning, I went down there. And uh, I said, what, what, you okay? And he's sitting in a recliner, and he's shaking like this, just trembling he just sitting there like this and he said i'm sick son i said well what is you running fever or he said i don't i said yeah i said well what's your temperature he said i don't know they had not checked his temperature so i went home and i got some of this plant that i had dried i had it in a bag and i got a thermometer i went down there his temperature was 102.3 and I said, Daddy, I said, I've got a plant here that is supposed to break fever and get fever down. He'd been running fever for two days now. And I said, I've never tried it. I've never used it. I said, but it's, I've read about it. I said, this is what it's supposed to do. He said, I'll try anything. So I, we crumbled this plant up. We put it in a, a pot. We boiled it, made tea there on the stove. Didn't really boil it. We just got it really, really hot up almost to boiling temperature and uh, made a tea in a little pot and we strained it off and I got a coffee cup full. I sat down and I said, I don't know what it tastes like. He drank that. He drank the whole cup. In about, within 15 to 20 minutes, he had no fever. It broke that fever. Now this will cause sweating and stuff. I want to tell you if uh, you need to, we still took him to the doctor, figured out he had a some pneumonia they was things that was causing that fever so you still need to check and see why you're running fever it's not going to probably cure the cause but if that fever is getting dangerously high and you need to get it down and you don't have another mean this is a good plant to do that with so i just wanted to help you identify this and tell you that i know for a fact that this will break fever um and i wanted to show you I, i've got some clips there earlier of identifying this plant but you notice this stem is very hairy uh, or fuzzy, whatever you want to call it. The leaves are alternating. In other words, one's turned this way and then the next one's turned this way. So they cross as they go down the plant. The stem grows through the center of the leaf. The leaf is pointed on each end, grows all the way across. Uh, and this is early August. We're like the 10th, 12th of August. This plant is starting to flower here in central Mississippi. It'll do a little later, probably as you go up the state. Um, it may even be earlier. I don't know. I just know that here in central Mississippi, it's flowering now. 
So when stuff starts flowering, that's a good way to identify a plant that you see out of it. You know, you may not see it up close, but once you identify, okay, this looks like this, then you can spot it further off. It's like cardinal flower. I've struggled to find it through the summer, but now that it's blooming, it's a red flower. I can spot that easily as I ride down a ditch and I can find it. So uh, if you don't have this, I have dug it. I showed a clip of one next to a gas tank. I transplanted that to my backyard. Um, I think it comes back from the same roots. I'm not sure. It looked to me like it did. It could be seed that fell down there and come back up. But I did transplant this to my yard last fall with great success. It stayed there all winter and died there. And uh, then it came back this next, this year. So you can move this. I would suggest this is a good plant to keep one around your place because when you need it, you need it right then. You don't have time to really go looking for it. So if you've got high fever, this is a good plant to have. Um, so make sure you look at those clips I zoomed in on. And I may take another couple of good clips of this in closing this video. But thank you all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see you next time.